Hello everyone. Nowadays, we all are concerned about one thing and that is fast spreading coronavirus. So during this time of crisis, instead of creating panic, let's all focus on ways to keep it away from us. This pandemic is a scary time for everyone, especially children. So children have a hard time understanding what is going on and usually absorbs most of the stress their parents present in the response to everyday life changing so much. Still, it's important to explain to children exactly what is going on and answering some of those questions they may all have. So this is also very important for children who are now attending school. Since a lot of time, other children tend to misunderstand information and scares themselves into believing that are not always true. So in today's video, we will walk you through some tips on how to tackle the rough conversation with your children that is COVID-19. How to explain to kids what is it? What is the difference between coronavirus and COVID-19? So nothing. They all are exactly the same things. COVID-19 is short for coronavirus disease and the 19 is for the year in which it was discovered, that is 2019. So what is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a virus that travels through people and the air. This teeny tiny virus has only one goal to multiply. When we have it, it feels a lot like a regular cold. We cough, we sneeze, and we are like to have fever. Some healthy bodies can get over this virus in less than two weeks, but we need to protect those who are more vulnerable to this virus. These are people that are older or already sick with another type of diseases or health complications. The way this virus gets around is that someone infected is touching things or does not have a mask. When we cough, sneeze or even talk, tiny little droplets travel around the air. If we are infected, we risk letting these droplets spreading to the people and things around us. So luckily this virus can't spread and travel without our help. So how do we stop it from spreading? We can follow three very simple rules to make sure we protect ourselves and the people we love. So the first one is we can wash our hands. So here is a small clip that will help you how you can help your kids wash their hands with the song for 20 seconds. First we'll grab some water, rinse, rinse, rinse. Then we'll take the soap and scrub like this. Rub our palms together, one, two, three. In between your fingers, just like me. Don't forget the back sand underneath your nails. Take it up to your wrist, scrubbing never fails. Just keep scrubbing, it's almost the end. Now we grab some water and rinse again. Now we grab a towel and dry it till we're done. Washing our hands was so much fun. So the second one is social distancing. What does it mean to social distance? To practice social distancing is to keep our distance from strangers and people we love who are at high risk of not doing well if they get infected. So this means we can set ourselves six feet apart from strangers at a grocery store line or that we stop attending social gatherings like parties, weddings, etc. The more distance we put between ourselves and the people around us, the more sure we can be that the virus cannot travel. The third one is wearing masks. So why do people have to wear masks? Do they work? Masks have always been worn by doctors to keep from spreading diseases to their patients. They want us to keep wear it for same thing. If you remember, we went over how to coronavirus travel in small droplets coming from our mouth. Masks help prevent us from spreading those droplets and making sure that we don't catch those droplets from other people as well. So even though we can get uncomfortable just know that you are saving lives by wearing.